So a lot of people have been asking how to enable the USB access from Hyper-V. So in the VMware, it's pretty straightforward, but in Hyper-V, you have to be very, very specific in a couple of places in order to enable the USB access from within a virtual machine. First thing first, you first have to go to the settings of a virtual machine. So you right click on the specific one and go to the settings. From within the settings, you have to navigate to the uh, uh, integration services and you would have uh, something called guest services by default disabled. So what you need to do is you need to enable it and hit apply and then say okay. This is half of the job done. You then have to do something like uh, let me connect a USB real quick. So in this machine I connected a USB which is known as uh, USB 64 GB something and if I can go into this uh, virtual machine in Hyper-V, I need to have a look at it. So we enabled the word guest services and at the same time we need to enable something from within the connectivity pane as well. So when you connect, you do not hit connect straight away. You need to go to the local resources and this is where you need to uh, allow the external connectivity. You go expand the drives and select the drive which is already being connected to your machine. So as I mentioned, um, I have the USB drive connected called USB 64 GB. I would be selecting it and then hit OK. As soon as I connect here, I will be able to connect to the server. I provide the password. Once I am in, I should be able to see something in my uh, this PC area. Now this will be a bit interesting for you. It won't be appearing as a separate drive here under C or D. It would be uh, appearing under redirected uh, devices if you will. So if you open it this is your uh, USB uh, connectivity. So if you now for example this is open here as well. So this is my USB open here and here. If I want to do some changes, for example, if I create a new te text document, uh, document, so this will be created and renamed immediately, almost instantly. Similarly, if I do some changes here, new folder, let's say, this new folder should be uh, appearing here uh, in a moment, all right? So this was a real quick a helicopter view of how to enable the USB access from within the virtual machine on the Hyper-V. I hope this was informative. Thank you very much.